casket ready, I want death kind of look. Hi everyone, my name is Crystal and I'm back with a new video. Hi guys! So today I'm actually here to do a video based on uh, my routine, my makeup routine uh, when I go to school. So I actually keep it really simple, nothing too crazy, no um, fake eyelashes that are like bleh, and then after that there's no um, cut crease or whatever, you know, nothing like that. I just keep it real simple, so yeah. Uh, if you like this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I recently just hit 50 subscribers, so thank you. I know it's not a lot, but it means a lot to me, so thank you guys so much for subscribing. Um, yeah, yeah, let's get to the video. So the first part to my makeup routine is actually not makeup itself, but skincare. So skincare, I feel that is very important um, to actually, you know, um, make a nice canvas kind of thing. So uh, for me, I start with toner. So I start with the Claire Supple, uh, Supple Preparation Unscented Toner. I've been actually enjoying this much better than the original one. I, I mean, I've, n I've not broken out from the previous one, the original one, but I just prefer this because I don't know, I just prefer this. So take about like two or three drops and then I just go in. So um, here's a tip, okay, for you. My classes usually start at 9, so I have to be up at 7-ish. Uh, and I normally sleep around 2, so that means I have only like 5, or five hours of sleep. And uh, I'm not in the most creative mindset to do really pretty looks um, in the morning. <laughs> I just want to oh, flip that shit up on my face and let's go kind of thing, you know. Uh, so yeah, so here's a tip. Um, what you want to do is when you first wake up, you uh, brush your teeth, you wash your face, apply your skincare, then you go eat your breakfast, and normally you take about like what, 5, 10, 15 minutes if you are really, you know, dragging it on, and then after that you come back and then you do your makeup. Because I feel that's the way I've been doing it for like the past 3 years at least, because um, normally it takes about a good like 8 to 10 minutes for your your skincare to like sit into your skin and you know just let your skin just eat it well like sink in well because i feel that if you just apply skincare and then just straight on um your makeup base what happened is that uh because if you live in such a hot and humid climate like me i live in singapore so it's like uh, what will happen is that the skincare and the base will actually mesh together and not in a good way and eventually they just like kind of not sit well on your skin before it just start to slide off and everything and just like oh my god i look 10 years older help so yeah uh so yeah so i just apply skincare on so like i said normally for me it's a, a toner followed by a serum so a serum could be anything like something light don't be too heavy um just like a juicy juicy what's this called freshly juiced vitamin drop or recently this uh oh. or recently this one this is the gutal uh green tangerine vita c dark spot serum this has been really popular in korea um <laughs> and i actually can see why um it's 30 mil, this is 35, so I mean, if anyone's interested, um, let me know if you're interested in this product because um, I don't think it's not getting enough like hype on the international uh, beauty community, so I'm just like, y'all sleeping on this! <laughs> so yeah, I apply some of this, green tangerine, about one to one and a half, one pumps, rub it in my palm of my hands, and then just Alright, so I'm just gonna let that sit for about 5-10 um, minutes because um, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I just came back from school. I just, you know, took off all my other makeup to do this video. So I'm like redoing everything again. So see you in like 10 minutes, which is probably like in the next second. <laughs> okay, so it's been about like 5 minutes-ish kind of thing. So now I want to proceed to put on um, one thing that is very important. More important then skincare itself, sunscreen. Sunscreen is really important. Um, I realized a lot of beauty gurus, they don't really put uh, sunscreen. And I'm really like, why? Why don't you do that? You know, why? <laughs> so um, 
Sunscreen is important because it actually it protects your skin and uh, I actually really really like Korean uh, sunscreens uh, Japanese sunscreen as well the Biore Biore I can't really remember the name I used to use it um, sunscreen but I remember there was like alcohol or desaturated denatured alcohol or desaturated alcohol and it wasn't really that good so um, in my skincare video my hot and humid skincare video I actually recommended the Cosarex Aloe sunscreen. I mean, I, I think, I think that sunscreen is good, but the scent is the scent is what gets me all the time. It's just it just smells like men's um, hair cream kind of thing. So now I've been using this one. This is the Dear Class uh, Soft Airy UV Essence um, sunscreen. It's actually really good. It actually doesn't give that um, white cast or the purpley tint on your face. So it actually has this like really creamy, milky texture over here. Yeah, look at that. So this actually can work as a base and also it actually gives like a very nice um, glowy, dewy look uh, without much effort because... Huh. And at the same time, it protects your skin. I'm sorry if you're like in here on the TV. Uh, Mama's watching TV and uh, I can't stop the queen, so... <laughs> I've actually been breaking out quite a bit. Um, I think it's because of stress and like hormones. I know you can't see it because I don't know why my phone doesn't pick it up. But if you can see all these pimples. Yeah, it's been pretty bad. I think it's like my worst breakout so far. Uh, it's actually slowly recovering already. I think it's also because of um, my period as well. So yeah. I don't know. Do you guys have any like uh, recommendations to like deal with this um, pimple because I usually have good skin and suddenly the whole forehead was decided to, decided to come and play and you know and I just like wah kind of thing why so yeah so yeah you can see yeah, my skin is like naturally like glowy and dewy and I really like that look I'm gonna let the sunscreen like sit on my face and then after that I'm just gonna apply um, my brows first because you know brows are not are important but it's just like it's not on the skin so like if it's not on the skin it's not that bad where's my pop prop gel hello I need to draw on the floor or something oh yeah I did come here yeah <laughs> so I used the ColourPop brow wash gel in dark brown I don't even know you can see yep and um I mean, I've been blessed with like decent brows, but kind of sparse at the tip. So what I like to do is just take the take the tip over here and go in. I recently like uh, colored my hair. It was mint ash, but um, it's been about a week already, and I, and I wash my hair every single day. So I think. Um, the mintiness has kind of yeeted itself out this window already, so yeah. Hey Terry, you want some? This is empty! Sad, but it was fun while it lasted. Now I have just like very uh, bright, bright brown hair, which I'm not, I'm not mad, you know. So you can see my brows are kind of, um, not say super filled in, but at the same time they look rather natural. Um, so yeah. I'm not sure, it looks a little bit dark. Maybe it's because of my recent hair color. The my hair color before it wasn't it didn't look this dark, but yeah. So if I feel that if um, I've gone in a bit too ham on the brow gel, what I'll do is I'll take a spoolie and I'll just, you know that part up a little bit so yeah now I have slightly more defined brows but not to like block brow and uh, I want to punch people in the face kind of thing so yeah <laughs> so by now my sunscreen will have more or less uh, settle in like about two or three minutes it's a pretty fast process so um, next I'll actually go in with uh, my concealer I don't wear foundation usually 
If I do, means um, I'm either had really a lot of time or um, I just have a really bad breakout. So, so this is the Innisfree My Concealer. It's the dark under eye circle in the shade number 2. What's this called? Page. Oh my god. Picha Beige? Petal Beige? I don't know. And what I do is actually just go in like that. You can see I have very dark under, under eye circle, so I'll just do one side to show you guys. So there's two ways. If I feel that I have really dark under eye circles, I'll just use my finger. If not, I'll go in with my Revert Artistry um, sponge. This is a Soleil sponge. And I'll just use this uh, tip here and I'll just that in. So if I feel very lazy, which most of the case I am. So what I'll do is I'll take uh, this finger example and I'll just go in and I'll just tap it in like that. Your fingers are actually the best tool Sometimes, most of the times, sometimes. I am so powerful. My mind, oh, it amazes me sometimes. <laughs> and uh, what it do, it, do, it doesn't like, your finger does not pick up too much product like a sponge. The sponge really soaks up a lot of product. So. So yeah, you can see that this part is not really that blended yet. So you can see that it's there's a lot of So you can see that this part here is not really that blended yet. So what I'll do is I'll take a the sponge and I'll just go in like that to just blend in the edges. Yeah. You can see that now this side is like slightly not as dark as compared to this side. This side is really like oh Casket ready, I want death kind of look. A patriarchy. So I'm going with my ColourPop No Fitzel Concealer here. It's in the shade uh, Light 18. Yep, and uh, if not, I'll go in with the Bond This Way Concealer. I'm in the shade Snow. Um, it's, a, it's definitely too light for me, it's not for spot concealing. Honey, I don't know what the Sephora employee was thinking, but okay, I was boo-boo the fool to follow her words too, I guess. <laughs> so I'll go in with the under eye again one more time just for more coverage. And then I'll go in this part here, the nose. It actually makes a big difference because I feel that a lot of the redness is around here for me. And also, um, brow this like little tiny y part and just yeah yeah i'm not too anal if like um a little bit of spots come out and you know decided that it's still sh you know visible and stuff like that um, I just leave it because uh, it's alright, I'm not trying to achieve a kick face or anything, so yeah. So I have here the Juicy Punk Blusher by Epiu. I think this is in BE101. Yeah, it's, oh, it's in BE01, sorry. And I go in and I just go like that. It's a lot. It's a lot of blush. Over here. And then I just go into my fingers at first. So that's a nice natural little flush to the cheek. Um, okay, and then and now at this point, I will set my face. So recently, I've been playing around with my um, <clears throat> Hourglass uh, Loose Setting Powder over here. Um, but I have re haven't really like formed a solid opinion on it yet. So I'm just gonna go in with my trusty good uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I'm in the shade Light uh, number 10, Fair Light. So I just dump a few, a bit, a few, a bit on my cap over here. That 
my brush in and I just tap off the a lot of the excess <laughs> so what I like to do is I will go in one more time and press with my fingertips my under eyes just to make sure all of my creases are you know non-existent I just go in like that Okay, so that's uh, that's it more or less for the base. If I have still have some time, I will go in for highlighter. But most of the time, I don't have like a highlight. I don't really. It's either blush or highlight. It's no. It's choose one. There's no like in between or whatever. So yeah, next one I will do my eyes. So my eyes, I normally will just take like a like a dark brown uh, pencil. This is the Play One One pencil by Etude House. Uh, it's in the number 19, so I will, I've already sharpened mine, I've already came prepared. And what I'll do is I'll actually just go ahead and closest to the lash line. Like that. So you can see that my eyes are more or less like defined, uh, regardless whether I have specs or not. Uh, my eyes are already defined already, so yeah. Uh, so I same thing for the other side, and I just go in. Next up, um, I have to curl my eyelashes, so um, this over here. Just make sure to curl your lashes like really, 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 really well. I have very like straight Asian lash, so it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do my lashes sometimes. I'm going with this Thai brand, it's called um, Mistine Supermodel um, Extension Mascara. Now we're left with the lips. Um, normally the lips are the part where I kind of make or break my look because my face looks kind of flat at this point. So I actually been using this. This is the Mammon Creamy Tint Color Balm Intense in number 21. No, 23, sorry. It's in number 23, uh, Brick Rose. Oh my god, this color looks so nice and so natural, which is what I usually wear to school. I don't know, do you guys like wear nudes to school or do you wear like dark ass red? Cause that is like, oh my god, those people who wear like dark lipstick to school, I'm just like, salute to you, I can't do that. I, my mental mind in the morning is just like, I want to wear dark lipstick. No, it doesn't seem right, you know? So, I don't know. But by midday, I'm like, wow, I wish I wore black, uh, like not black, <laughs> like dark lipstick. So. Hey guys, editing Crystal here. Uh, I forgot to mention that uh, I actually added one more lip color in the center. Uh, I didn't do it. I don't know why, but I didn't. <laughs> um, it's actually this color over here. It's the Style Nanda 3C Soft Lip Lacquer. This shade over here, it's in the shade uh, Tawny Red. Yep. I've been really liking this color a lot. Um, I, I don't know why I hated it at the start, but it grew on me more, so yes. <laughs> Ooh, look cute! Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, um, this is more or less the final look. Oh, before that, what you wanna do? Set it everything down with Max Fix Plus because it makes everything better, makes the world happier. So yes, yes. So yeah, this is more or less the final look. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And let me know your comments and your thoughts and whether or not you like this video or not. Or do you like this look or I think something could be improved. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It's gonna rain. <laughs> yeah, and I'll see you guys in my next video. 
Bye!